wonder how hot a fresh in Henuta. I should visit them. I'm coming with your wine. May your day. Ah, look who has returned. Bayak of Siwa. Perfect that you have met us in Heraklion, the city of wine, women, whatever a magi like you desires and deserves. Ah, to the queen. Bayek, you arrive at an opportune time. Cleopatra, I'm still looking for the men who killed my son. The order is neutralized. Was my hunt for me or for you? I have two more names. The order can't be... And how many more names after that? As many as it takes. I wish to bring my son to the afterlife where he belongs, not... Ah! I like you, Cleopatra. But the royal matters that seduced my wife do not sway me so. What does the badge mean to you? Have you forgotten? This badge means more to you than it does to me. This is not one man we are fighting. Nothing ends simply. Aya has understood that you have a new reality. I am your pharaoh. You are Magi to all of Egypt. Follow me. We have a gift. <clears throat> Speaking of Magi, any news of Aya? Aya is still defending the seeds. Expecting Pompey and his fleet any day now. To unite against the Order and change the land. I did see a lot on my hands that sickened me. Our land is being oppressed greatly. I realize we cannot let the Order rise again. Yes, Bayek. The two new names, the Jekyll and the Scorpion, are within my brothers in a circle. We believe they are the ones behind the attempt on my life. An attempt on your life? By your brother's Philakis? Hard to tell. A Gabignani, one of Septimius' warriors. They form a militia 2,000 strong. I had hoped to ally with them. With Septimius? The Roman lug? He leads them? Yes, the dreamer who posits himself as truly Egyptian, and yet sends a man to murder me. Not very Egyptian, if you ask me. Aya feels he is working for the Order, and has a proxy here named Venator. Perhaps he is the masked one that forced my son's death upon me. Votor! Just kill me already, you coward! Oh! Here is your gift. He is in the order of ancients like Septimius. We found him snooping around the villa. We think he knows who killed your son. My brother Septimius killed your son, and I don't give a shit! Shit giving is my job. I just fucked those twins up! Then it's all! Enough for you. I will press him for more information. I suggest uh, you visit the brothel in town. Yes. Go dig through this Dionysian town and unearth the plot against us. Septimius is in town. His main philakis is a man named Venator. Ah, a true warrior. I have a discount for... Wait. You're not with the Cabinianis, are you? No, I am not. I am a Magi. Whoa. Magis used to come here all the time, but not recently. Who do you work for, then? Cleopatra. I heard she was in town. Well, a Magi working for his pharaoh. You must have gold to burn. 
I would like to speak with your legendary twins. Speaking is what you call it. I suppose we all have our thing. The twins are going to cost you if you want to speak or anything else with them, Magi. Make yourself comfortable upstairs. The twins will come for you. They had a rough night yesterday, so don't speak too hard with them, hmm? You wanted to speak to us? I'm looking for a Gabagnani named Venator. Shh! Do not say that name! She's a naked Iadet. I won't hold my tongue for that monster. Everyone is scared of him, but you should kill him. He's staying at the top of the square. He won't be staying anywhere ever again. This place has been busy. Venato does not walk alone. This place smells like a swamp. Broken dishes. It reeks of foul play. Target practice on Cleopatra. Venato is training his Gabinianis for an assassination. Lipstick and scented oils. Were women of the street here? And Roman regalia. Odd. Seems Venator wants his men to mix well. Wine casks. This doesn't smell like wine, though. Oil in wine casks. Enough oil to burn down the whole city. My gods. A crafty plan. One of the men is posing as a woman. Must be to infiltrate the palace. Posing as wine merchants, they will dock and set a fire to cause a panic. With an archer ready to pick up the queen in the confusion. Somewhere high. Venator. More than just one of Septimius' dogs. You have your own puppets within the order. I have to find them before they strike. Look, later on, I plan on playing the loot. <gasps> Stop. Alexis! He was an imposter. A Roman man who wants to kill the queen. I am doing you a favor. Can we return to the brothel?
Quick! <laughs> ah, you smell of the sea. The high seas have taken me for some time, but now I'm yours. my love. Unworthy bitch. That is no way to talk about a goddess. If you are a guardian of Egypt, the country will surely be dead in moments. Keep talking. You should find yourself without a head. Did you stop by the brothel and see my hand? Place in the duat for your brother Septimius. Hey, old man. Oh, are you injured? Just a flesh wound. <laughs> oh, yeah. I am fine. Nothing hurts anymore. My mind is a riot. All I have is that I am pushed further. One more attempt to snuff me out. My queen, rest and remember. I do that... not need rest. This civil war is no closer to ending. I need a fucking throne. My throne rots in the hands of my brother. Instruct Foxidus to prepare ship. We head to meet Pompey. My last resort. You two go ahead and tell him we're coming. Yes, my queen. Bayek, if we don't get to Pompey first, Septimius might. Appears those Gabinianis left us a feluca. Kind of them. Septimius is the shit eater. He is the man we must escort to the Devourer. And of Potinus? He will be more fodder for the Devourer. And then we return home. We will only return home with Cleopatra in our company, to show the Sea Ones what has changed, what we have changed. How are things on your trireme? Great. Foxidas has entrusted me with. Why don't we take each other here? In this reed boat. Take advantage of these rare moments between us. Before your new job steals you away as savior of all Egypt. You make jokes, but it is not funny. It is greatness I am after. This country is at civil war, one simply cannot deny it. Everywhere is misery. I love you, Aya. And we are Medjan. We do serve and protect, but we work alone. 
I share your hatred for Ptolemy. But remember, Cleopatra is a Ptolemy. She is the better of two evils. We must serve greatness. What greatness do we serve now? We are parents. We were parents. I love you, Bayek of Siwa. But what are you of now? Gods. The Nile will run red for many moons. Uh, Osiris will be busy. These are Romans. None of Ptolemy's naked ear debts? No. <laughs> ah. Septimius has beat us. Funny how all great men are reduced to food for maggots. This is a cemetery for our ambitions. No. No, it can't be. Where is Caesar? He has arrived in Alexandria. He is heavily guarded, so there's... Bring me to him. I will get to Caesar if I have to drag myself through the sewers of the palace. Warning, Bayek. Once we board this ship, there is no turning back. And we finish with the Queen on her throne, or each of our heads on a pike. I understand. It is rare that our cargo is a goddess. I apologize. We have no kings or queens on our ship. Only gods and goddesses. So you should fit right in. All strange and terrible things are welcome. <laughs> I am worried that my quarters are not as comfortable as your palace. Comforts? We despise them. My loyal shield boy! Are you fit? I am in awe of this goddess. We must do her well. I can't believe she's on our ship. Hey, don't be fooled by appearances. She needs us more than we need her. <laughs> Raya. She is the real goddess. There, in the distance. Aya, already showing Bayek the best places to make love, huh? Enough, Fox. It is time to make war. Brothers at sea, today we carry a precious cargo. Queen Cleopatra, great lady in perfection. She of the Sage and Bee, with so many other cocksure titles, my breath falters just to think of them. Now, if you'll direct your attention to the fort, you'll notice we have some friends bearing down upon us. Emissaries of our little pharaoh. How kind of them to come forth! Let us welcome them, shall we? Warmly, with a ball of flaming refuse. This reminds me of a day 20 years back when I sailed through the islands. The Sicilians were there. Ah, bird stories. That's right. I was a higher call than you. They were planning an inland raid on Antioch and needed a few extra sails. It was my first and only peek into the life of a scoundrel. I prefer having a shred of thesis. All right. Well done there. Sea craft comes naturally to you. Easier to sail about when the sea is empty of ships trying to sink you. Want a dozen missing triremes, not a lot the main fleet. It will take some time for them to find the wreckage. Onwards! Captain, my sheep smells like... There! More Ptolemy's sheeps! 
They'll want to box us in and drive us against the shore. I see that look in your eyes. Why should we fight them? We can just barge on through and head straight for Alexandria. I need to be sure the way is safe for Cleopatra. We have to do this. Those naked yardets will feel Ra's arrows. Nice to hear Egyptian vulgarity on a Greek ship. Variety is what makes life interesting. And bloodshed. La 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 la! The fleet awaits your command, Aya. Our catapults will fire upon your order. The fleet is at your disposal. One signal, and fire will burst upon them. This is not a battle we win without catapults! La 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 la! Off the pace, brother! Come in! Which one? Take them, you slackers! Cut them off! Don't let them touch! Show no mercy! The air stinks, but not the Vorsmen. Something else. Hold, Foxidas. Look there, and the water. Two ships down? Damn Ptolemy! Did make it by navy. I'm no foxy general with bottomless Roman coffers! Those were my men! Easy, Foxidas. We're not done yet. Our catapults will do their work. We'll make them pay. And dearly, by the balls of Zeus! I want the ocean turned dark with their blood! Damas this! Make the call! Increase the rhythm! Yes, my captain! Alala! They sent an octary! A floating city! Ah! Do the gods wish my fleet to draw it? Fickle to sight it! This old fish will stick in your grizzled throat! Bear up, old man. Let's not offend the gods with our foes. I'll take angry gods over docile ones right now! Open up the skies and rain some kind of sheep down on us! We have one last beast to hunt. Such a humor, Aya! The day I met you was the day I died so far. Right? 
You are one lucky Medja. <laughs> As are we. Lucky to be in your furious company. Should I apologize for putting you back to work? Not at all! Not at all! My blood runs quick now! With the roar of battle! By Zeus! I have not seen this much action since the earliest days of Cleopatra's father! <laughs> Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Those clothes looked expensive. All are safe, we're done. <laughs> Attacking starboard! Oh, we are not done! Ptolemy's Malachi are not dead yet! Get out of the reed boats! Use the fog to hide your escape! I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm. Free, you fool! Don't mind the flaming arrows, huh? <laughs> For battle, we will honor our goddess! We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. We cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. So we disarm then. Armed or not, they will recognize her. For once, perhaps a queen's entrance is unnecessary. Act natural. We are meant to preside these grounds. Remember that. Is our queen all right? I'm fine. Who are we? Let me do the talking. None pass here without escort or a royal seal. I am the nomarch of Heliopolis. These are my phylachitae. We bring gifts from our local merchants. Let them pass with an escort. Follow me. This way. Our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our pharaohs always provide? We will not celebrate until an alliance is sealed. Your vizier and your king have given us fine accommodations here in the palace. However, I cannot guarantee my Imperator will hold court with you. We understand. You are a good legionary. We will be patient. Even soon. Guest legionary, at ease. We are with the great Pharaoh Ptolemy XIII, his envoys from the east, with gifts for your Imperator. Carry on, then. An offering? Would you like me to help you carry your carpet? No, sorry. It is very sacred. Must be handled by the Philarchidae. They understand the merchandise. Step aside, legionnaires. Official business for the Pharaoh. Who are you? You look like a hippodrome racer. Huh. I am. You should see me race. The C1 warrior. Continue this way. Guest legionary, at ease. Mihi placet. You stay in the palace. The whole politics are concluded. The palace is at your disposition, Caius. <clears throat> Pompey was bound to be killed soon.
Pompey was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. But you are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. <sighs> what is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? This is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God, kill these traitors! My wretched brother. He's let the wine go to vinegar, and my kingdom to pieces. Great lady, your audacity is equaled only by your beauty. Flavius, please. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Bothinus and Septimius gone. We miss them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You proved your worth tenfold today. You truly are great Magi's. Aya, dear one, thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> It is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice. It's a dead end, my lady. I will double check. Ensure it is. Really? You insult our efforts. We tried everything. Mm, they got it right. This way is completely blocked. That earthquake must have altered the structure. Hmm. Broken spears. These Romans really did try everything. Strange. This wall is not as solid as it looks. Must be a way beneath. Around! This is a tighter squeeze than the caves west of Siwa. We were smaller in those days.
Where to now, my lord? It must be through the sewers. No one had the courage to plunge into Hades' rivers. We are the ones. Incredible. I hope you will provide me with a similar sarcophagus. Whatever you want, my love. It is said that his sarcophagus is full of honey. Helps preserve the car. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Promise me you will bury me with my blade, so I can protect myself in the field of reeds. Promise. Markings along the bottom. They speak of Siwa, the vault, and a scepter that Alexander holds. A moon stands in a field of trees where a man's fear meets its scepter. Man to king, king to god. A marked sphere. What did you do with the orb I gave you? I gave it to Apollodorus. He loves those things. We should let the others in. I'm going to keep looking around. Paintings on the wall. is holding. The markings. Ever since I was a boy, I've idolized this man. He is similar to you. I wept at the base of his statue in Rome. At 30, he was a god with an empire stretching across the known world. What have I done with my five long decades here on Earth? It me did you faint? Together, we can do more than Alexander did. Yes. How long before the Queen stops impressing Caesar and starts impressing us? Our needs are hers as well. She will deliver. My Caesar, our emissaries have been captured at the southern garrison of Alexandria. Soldiers have reported a hostile environment. Captured? Is this Ptolemy's diplomacy? I will send my guard. Greek soldiers will pass more freely through the city than Romans. Let us settle this matter, my queen. Flavius, come. Look. We have found the great king. Taking on the entire garrison will not be easy. I may not have to take on the entire garrison. A calculated kill and a shadowy presence will fare better. If you take on the armies of Ptolemy, I would like to be at your side. I will distract the garrison with a brawl. A fine idea. I will procure the emissaries. Somebody just kill me. Finish the damn job. We need to alert Caesar. What happened to you? Septimius, they are preparing a siege of the harbor. They want to take the palace. I will not betray Caesar! 
How many more heads must I chop off before Caesar understands? This is futile. A change of plans. The lion says we must march on the Pharos and trap the queen. Then they said they left for... Where? Where? This guy may have more valuable information. I need to bring him back to Caesar. You have loyal men, Caesar. Septimius plans on trapping you in the palace. You have no time. As I foresaw, war. Levius, they want fire. Let us burn the whole damn harbor. And if we change the Pharos light, the rest of the fleet will know what to do. We will join them by chariot. Salve, Lord Caesar. I will make the order. My queen, you should accompany me into battle. As these soldiers rip each other apart, I shall stay on my throne. I am queen until a sword plunges through my heart. And even then my blood will stay on my throne. Good then. I stay. My life is yours to do with as you will. Now, the most crucial part of the plan. Put this into the brazier of the Pharos. She will accompany me through the city. Now, let havoc reign. Aya, if you find my brother, Ginestoi, <laughs> we will put our queen on the throne. You are the only queen worthy of the throne. <laughs> <sighs> Give me the powder. Caesar thinks a woman cannot do this job. <laughs> Proof Caesar wrong, my love. Best not be seen here.
Remind me of the Alexandrian horse I am gifted by the Order of Ancients. Perhaps I will skip you around. Now you've offended oh. even my vulgar. This Pharos is Ptolemy's. Be gone! Huh. This Pharos will only burn Whose name did you kill my captain? Ptolemy's men are breaking through our line. No. Wait till I see the signal. I can't believe you trusted a woman to do something of such importance. How are the fleet to receive their orders? Patience, Caesar. The die is cast. <laughs> Come, we go to the battlefield. Red die, cover the retreat. Many men have doubted Aya. All have found themselves dead by her blade. with your bow as they claim or we will be dead you focus on driving i will keep these fools at bay odd way to speak of your countrymen any who would give up on our people is no countryman of mine to the back <laughs> the 
There's a lot of them behind us! We're surrounded! I am working on it! Walk more quickly! I'm shooting as fast as I can, Roman! Oh, that is not good. What is it? Hope we don't find out, Caesar. Faster! Perhaps we cannot run it! You will face it. Ready yourself, Caesar. This is worse than any battle you've yet had. It can't be that bad! It is Osiris himself! The arrows are only making him angrier! Hold the chariot steady! My focus is on not being trampled, Egyptian! You have an idea! Just get rid of the damn thing! The lighthouse approaches quickly! We'll run out of land soon! No harder! There! It's the fleet! I have nothing left to throw! Any time, Bayek! of us, Bayek. Now, we must join the ships. We will be heroes. Sword and mind. Runs three stadia. According to our speculators, Potinus leads the charge. Keep the soldiers distracted, Caesar. I will handle Potinus at Victorium! Saying order comes to an end, Potinus. Face your judgment. They went too far in Siba. I knew it then. But I just wanted peace for Egypt. Your peace leaves many wanting. This is inevitable. 
A good rule always does. My apologies, Bayek of Siwa. My fee is covered, it seems. Now may I go to my glory. There is no glory left in Egypt. The damned eunuch is no more. Good. The speculatores found Septimius. He is in the village beyond. I will distract his men while you capture him. We must know what he plans. You would think your spies would already know. They have their limits. But they claim Aya has the scent of that puppet king. So they also have their uses. Then Ptolemy is already caught. I will finish the rest. finally comes. You will see your god soon. Hayek of Siwa, finally fight. Are you ready for your end? Prepare to face judgment, Septimius. You will find yourself in the duats. Septimius is Roman. We will deal with him under our laws. He killed my son! Everything for which we have worked for so long is now ours. We have defeated our enemies. Only I can lead Egypt into a new era of prosperity.
for you stun with Septimio's sound. We are banned from the palace. I do not begrudge the venom in your eyes, but listen for a moment. Speak quickly, or you will find yourself at the wrong end of my blade. Your services are no longer needed. Cleopatra has granted you gold. I am sorry, Aya. Sorry? We gave her everything. We gave her that damn clown, and she stands next to him. And where is justice for us? Septimius was supposed to be judged by Rome. Is Caesar protecting the order? There are compromises to make a queen of Cleopatra. The man who killed our son is your ally. We are going to do whatever it takes to kill him. You realize? Look, Caesar blames you for the death of Ptolemy. A pharaoh, a god, by I, I cannot change this. Be damned what Caesar thinks. It is with Cleopatra that I made the pact. Give me time, Aya. I will ease this for us. Until then, I beg you, be careful. Not everything is as it seems. Ah! Traitor. With all my words, I have nothing to say now. Cleopatra has been poisoned by Rome, and we by her treachery. We will burn with Egypt. The order is stronger now. They have Rome. Please, I will deal with this tonight. Hold on, hold on. I was wrong. I am responsible. When my boy died, I fought back with rage and anger. But this only made them stronger. We are all different. But we fought together to put Cleopatra on the throne. Now this was a mistake, my friends. But at least it brought us together. Now our enemies are hidden behind crowns. Walking in the shadows of kings and queens. Who are the ones that walk in the shadows for the people? We are. Something has come of all of this. And it starts right now. We must continue the fight and defend the free will of the people. And no matter how small, our brotherhood is the only hope. And our kingdom needs no crowns. What we believe in, our values, our creed, will unify us. And I promise that for all the songs of Egypt, I will be the father I was not that day in Siwa. To the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood! You were right. I trusted the wrong goddess. There's a question that yet lingers. Septimius. He took Alexander's staff. Why? Indeed. He and Flavius had too much interest in Alexander's tomb. We start there. I will destroy Cleopatra for what she has done. We must focus on the issue at hand. What is left, Bayek? Tell me one thing left for us. Siwa. The rest of our land. We cannot stop now, Aya. We have yet to find Hemu's killer. Yes. We will not falter there. Guards, ahead! Another pile of bodies will prove our point. Ah. It has been too long since we were together for longer than a few days. Has it? It seems but moments. Aya, it is not easy, this path we walk. Only if you look at it as days and not goals, Bayek. Come, we must hurry. Ah, they will attack on sight here. These are all Romans. Caesar's men. Stay! 
Nicht zu! Entnommen, wo wäre ich? Das ist mir... Apollodorus. Fool. Flavius was behind the door. Uh, I'm sorry. Flavius killed your son. They were here. They took the orb from me. They've gone to Siwa. Siwa? Bayek, I have. Your people are in danger. God, now! Fare thee well, Apollodorus, to the house of Hades. Completely silent. The animals, too. Ah, uh, some sort of plague has hit the village. That viper Flavius did this. We should have ripped out his entrails long before now. Let us get to the vault. the Duat. Who could imagine? Who created this? The gods themselves? Here's the story of mankind. Bayek. Bayek. It is Hepsifah. My Sammy. No life is done here in the desert dust. They took my closest friend. We must rush to stop Flavius. No! We cannot leave him here. He deserves a proper farewell. I am with you. Hepsifa knew nothing of the order. There was no cause for him to be killed. Flavius ripped out his heart as a message to me. It was he who killed Chemu. My husband. We will end this. Bye. 
Bayek. Ah. Uh, he fell. I saw what happened. It was horrible. The Roman leaders entered the temple vault. Septimius and Flavius. The objects they carried opened it as if by a god's hand. And so that tried to stop them. But they rendered me helpless. They entered the vault. A blue fire seemed to emerge. I fled to no avail. The entire village lost its reason and fell to the ground like dogs. They have destroyed Siwa! They must die! You must put an end to this! Bayek! Aya! You have the prayers of the entire village to support you! Let us bring Hepzibah to his rest. Then, we will seek justice! Let the embalmers come. We pray Anubis accept this ornament in place of his heart, such that Hepzibah may walk free in the field of reeds. Hepzibah, old friend. <laughs> oh, Bayek, Hepzibah would have wanted you to have this. The weapon he prized above all others. I am honored. Some villagers captured a Roman soldier and questioned him. Flavius is headed for Cyrene, and Septimius for Alexandria. I will kill Flavius. Hmm. There's a farm at the border of Cyrene. Someone there may have seen Flavius pass through. As for me, I will cut out the heart of Septimius. I feel as though wherever we go, tragedy follows. Perhaps we should come to terms. It is hard. I don't want to let go, but... Every time I think of you, I think of Hemu, and everything we lost. Me too. So for now, we kill. Farewell, Aya. It has been too long, son.